Jonja here from My Expressions. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be featuring my entire X jewelry collection. Um, I tend to do this once every year. And I wasn't going to do it, but I remember that I did end up adding some links to my collection. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that today. And I want you guys to excuse my nail. I broke it really badly. And then I tried to crazy glue it. And... I did, but I have to cut them because I, then I broke this one too. So just it's it's a more it. <laughs> Go back to your short nails. <laughs> but anyways, um, let me first kind of give you guys a little introduction to X in case you have never heard of it or anything like that. X jewelry is consistent or consistent <laughs> is made up of links. So there it's link jewelry or link charms, okay? So each one has a little opening or slit. There you go. Which, and I think if, if you guys can see a little X design there, like a little crisscross, that's the X, that's why it's called X, okay? So you get one link and you get another link and then you insert it like so. See that? So it pops in. And now you have the beginning of a chain. So you just continue that until you have your bracelet. Okay? Now what I just demonstrated here are the silicone or rubber links. That's just one aspect of X. Also, a little bit of a history lesson. X Jewelry used to be called X by Troll Beads because it was an offshoot of Troll Beads. So back in, I think, 2012, I think, um, X by Troll Beads, or Troll Beads came out with X by Troll Beads. And then a couple years after that, they renamed themselves X Jewelry because I believe they, even though they're still kind of part of the umbrella company that is Troll Beads, they're, they are their own company now. You know what I mean? So same thing with the metal links. Each link has a little slit that you can <coughs> line up. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm <coughs> really I'm okay. <coughs> Fall has come, <coughs> or is in transition, and therefore my allergies are back. <coughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah. Same thing with the links. Um, they are single links, like this star, and they are double links, like this one that has two openings, one here and one here, so it's double. Okay? In the same process, just insert, snap in, and you're, you're linked. Okay? Um, the links consist of sterling silver, or bronze links, which is kind of cool because the bronze has that nice gold color. And it's not real gold, obviously, but you get that two-tone look, which is really awesome. Once upon a time, X Jewelry did make gold links. They were ridiculously expensive, and they have since discontinued them. They didn't come up with too many of them um, because, again, they were really pricey. It's a shame because, you know, it's gold. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they don't make them anymore, but they did once upon a time. And I think some, like, third... Person, not per, no, third party, third person, third party retailers still do may may have some leftover still, but it's up to you guys. If you want to take a search for that. Now let's just get started with my actual collection. Gosh, I need to work on my my whole whatever, whatever this is. <laughs> so speaking of X, when they first came out, like, I think I think 2012. Don't quote me on that. It took a whole year for me to get my first X jewelry bracelet. Um, 2013. It was most likely an anniversary gift, <laughs> and I remember it was first, my very first link was a star, followed by 18 of the black rubber links, and a plain silver lock, which is where? Here. So I forgot to mention that. They, they do lock. They have locks. So same me mechanism, little thingy here, and then you open it, and it, you know locks your bracelet together. Are you going to walk on my... Are you? No. Okay. <laughs> so, another great thing about 
oh, another great thing about this jewelry, or this brand is you don't have to worry about sizes. So for example, 18 links for the most part makes about a 7.5 inch bracelet. So if you lose weight, you can take a link out. If you gain weight, you can add a link. You're not set in stone where like, oh, you know, I lost so much weight that now I have to go down two bracelet sizes. You don't have to worry about that with this. You just yeah, remove as you see fit. You can make the bracelet extra long and do like a double, a double wrap. Um, you can wear it as necklaces, chokers. There's so many things you can do with this line. So I don't know. I don't. I don't understand why it's not as popular. But then again, they don't really market that market themselves very often. So, and I really do think that there's only one single store in the whole entire California that sells this. So, anyways, going back to my original bracelet, it was first uh, that the star. 18 of these links and the lock and as uh, X Jewelry started to you know, add to their collection they came up um, they made the shooting I think it's called a shooting star I don't remember um, and the bronze star so then I decided to do the opposite you know bronze star two silver two double silver links and then to close it off silver star with two bronze colored links and there you go. See? So I don't remember if this was my first completed bracelet. Like I said, these are usually all works in progress. Um, this one is done. Unless, you know, X really makes more stuff. <laughs> but that's that. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna give close-ups of everything because I figured me just holding like this is not gonna be good enough. So um, yeah, I'll do that with every single bracelet that I have. bracelet um, is meaningful to me because it's what I kind of call my love bracelet um, it consists of the lovers shoot is it lovers bond or love bond or lovers not I don't remember I have to look it up <laughs> but I like how I designed this bracelet um, not to mention that it's like the quintessential X jewelry bracelet it has um, two-tone bronze it has a silver it has a double link it has some silicone or rubber links. It has pretty much everything that um oh I'm supposed to come on, come on I'm done there. Pretty much has everything that X jewelry represents. Do you know what I mean? And it's meaningful to me. You know, one heart for me, one for my husband, with the lover's bond in the middle, that's what it's called. So I'll give you guys a close up of this as well. that I want to showcase is the oh that's backwards haha <laughs> the you and me bracelet you know I bought this on a Black Friday sale because um extra used to have really good sales about two or three maybe four times a year now it's down to nothing <laughs> it's down to like once a year and it's usually the Black Friday sale it's kind of sad um it's probably why I've slowed down on buying because they don't offer many promos or sales anymore um, but I remember the buying this because these are kind of pricey. So it's all double links, and it's you, ampersand, and me, followed by you know the the black rubber links and the flow lock. Okay. So I have a, a dilemma with this bracelet because I never I go back and forth between inserting black or other type of links between the you and me between the you and the ampersand and the ampersand and me because you can't quite tell what it is unless you really look at it until I unless I show you exactly look it's you ampersand and me <laughs> I 
because the way they twist. And I also learned that either it's a defect that came like that or I did something to it. I don't think so. I'm pretty, pretty sure it came like that. Do you see how it's a little bit like cr crooked? It's a small defect, I think. That's how it came. And it makes it very hard to remove this too because of the way the ampersand is built and it's just a very awkward tilt. So removing this is very hard. <laughs> I've actually had to fight with it before. So I kind of just leave it alone. But I never know if I should put the link here or not, like a link to separate these three. You know, and because I have to fight with these two links, I just kind of leave it alone. <laughs> Let me know though if you guys want to see how it looks with the link between these two or this one and maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. I go back and forth a lot. So if you guys want me to, I'll, I'll fight with it again and we'll see if I can, if it looks better. <laughs> but I'll give you guys a close up of this as well. double link bracelet and I like this bracelet because sometimes I don't feel like wearing uh, the silicone or rubber links and this is all solid metal you know solid bronze and sterling silver and once again I use this as a focus because I really do like this uh, this is one of my favorite double links when reviewing other links especially the double I use it as my standard because it's so long and big so I like it um, but I don't remember all of these names, so bear with me. <laughs> yeah, so it just has silver bronze, silver bronze, silver bronze, silver, silver. Oh, I'm sorry. It's silver, silver. Silver, silver, bronze, silver, bronze, silver, bronze, silver, silver. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and give you guys a close up as always. to my the same thing it's all sterling silver uh, but in this case it's all um, single locks I mean single locks single links now X jewelry has come up with some cool uh, bronze links so maybe if I were to get those I might intersperse some bronze in this as well to make it an another two-tone or I might just leave it all silver I'm not sure yet but I like it because it's really quirky. <laughs> I like the texture of it. And this one's a work in progress. I am only missing one silver link here and one silver link here to make it a complete bracelet, I think. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Compared to the double. Yeah, it's just a little bit bigger because it's double. Let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's like a hair, I think. Yeah, right here. Just a little bit. A couple millimeters. Two or three, really. It's not much. Okay. Yeah. So who knows? I might just keep this as a all silver single. And these are just a, pretty much a collection of just quirky, cute links that I just happen to like. I like the texture. I like... Um... The weirdness of it all. <laughs> And again, I will give you guys close-ups so you guys can see the bracelet up close.
to the ones that are kind of new on the newer side. Um, this flower isn't new, I've had it for a while, but the ones I've added as of last year were the Gamer Link, which is this one, it's like Pac-Man, which is actually a duplicate because I do have this one already on another bracelet. Guess who's back in my background? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> and then I got this as a repeat because it was on a really good sale, so I just bought it just to have it. Um, and this is the one that I got last year. This is the thing called Melody. It's like the music note, the G clef, I think, I believe. <laughs> I play the piano, you figured I know. <laughs> it's nice and bronze. And then the Freedom Feather, I think it's called? I don't remember. But uh, that's, those are two of the newest additions from last year, along with other things that I'll show you guys in a minute. And then the double, the heart, and whoops, the heart and star double link, which is kind of awkward. I don't like it as much as I thought I would, but I have it. <laughs> and then another flower cloud. So as you guys can tell, this is definitely a work in progress. Um, from the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be another two-tone uh, bracelet, but I don't know yet. Like I said, I have some things on my wish list. Um, I usually don't get X unless it's my birthday and or Christmas, so I only get this once a year. Which is why the collection kind of, like I said, grows more slowly than other collections. Again, they don't have as many promotions or sales that they used, as they used to. So that means, oh, hello. <laughs> You've been in this room so many times and yet you have to smell every little thing, don't you? Get out of the way. Come on. There you go. <laughs> but, okay, where was I? Close up time. about um, X is they also did come out with some necklaces um, I don't know if they are going to anymore if that was like a one-time thing they came out with several um, I forget how many and I own some of them of course my absolutely favorite necklace or pendant is the physical visible path of course star And the other one is the Flower Cloud, I think it's called, I don't remember, which is more asymmetrical. And in order to wear these, you have to buy this funky thing called an Asian cord. It has a little slit there, right here. So once again, you insert into corresponding slots like that. And then you go around this way. And do the same thing. Now it's a little tricky to do that, especially if you're wearing it around your neck. <laughs> I think he already struggled doing it on camera. Imagine doing this around your neck. Yeah, you need a mirror for sure. There's no way you can take it on or off without a mirror. Plus, I don't love this. It's it reminds me of like the eyebrow eyebrow <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> it reminds me of like the eyeglass cord that your grandma used to wear around her neck so she wouldn't lose her glasses, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thankfully, X Jewelry has, excuse me while I take this off, <laughs> has come up with a new collection called the Link Chain Collection, which they replace this now with actual like little, you know, like a chain. And I'm pretty sure they have the same thing, it has like this thing and then chain instead of this. So that makes it cooler looking, do you know what I mean? And that's been on my wish list forever, and I really, really want one. Or three. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a necklace one, and there's like two smaller ones that look like extend. They look, they look like necklace extenders. Maybe I'll just put a, a, a picture in here so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and you could add them to, you know, the bracelets, which is so cool. And if you want to just wear like one link, you can showcase the one link. You could do that with the chain now. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, like I said, I'll try to uh, put a picture in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And last but not least are the colored silicone rubber links um, that I don't really like to wear too much, but I like collecting them. 
because I do. And I know you guys probably can't really see the colors because of the glare I'm getting here. You guys can see this is pink for sure. All right, there's pink. There's the red. The original started all the, I think, ocean blue. Um, I don't remember the rest of the colors. Bordeaux. Which is a nice wine color. If you can see it here. So pretty. This looks amazing with the bronze. Let me tell you. Oh. What else? And there's like the teal. I think these are my leftover black ones. And then, I don't remember the name of these. At all. One is called Petrol Blue, I think. And I don't remember what, which one. And I don't remember what the other color is. But, <laughs> Doesn't really help, does it? <laughs> but there you go. That's my entire collection. <coughs> I hope I've kind of been able to like maybe address concerns or questions about the brand. Um, if I didn't, please feel free to ask questions underneath the comment box. Because this is kind of what made me start my whole blog, you guys. This was really the reason why. It was this brand. It wasn't Pandora. It wasn't troll beads because I figured there's enough of that out there. It was this brand. Um, I was so in love with this brand, and I still am, that I got frustrated when I realized that it wasn't very well known. There weren't that many reviews out there, or even pictures. And because most of my shopping has to be online, because there's no store nearby, I couldn't see what I was buying. Do you guys know what I mean? There is no, like, pictures of being a what look what the, what the link looks behind, um, from behind. Um, different angles, how big it is, they don't, they didn't say any of that. So that's why I figured I would kind of do that. And you know what's so funny is I haven't done a review for X in like years, I think. <laughs> it's probably been a couple years actually, it's kind of sad. Because I do have some that I am still like drafting and I just don't get around to it because I've been so busy. Or things come up and then they take priority. So I apologize. But if you guys, like I said, if you have questions, I'll be more than happy to try to answer them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed my X Jewelry collection video and until next time I will talk to you guys later <laughs> bye